You're listening to In Healthy Company with Dr. Tim Stevenson. In this podcast, we're all about mental health and general well-being. We'll be interviewing guests and providing a safe space for them to discuss any mental health issues. For me, holistic health is far more than just not being sick. Please remember we're unable to give health advice on an individual basis. However, please do feel free to email us with your issues at wellbeing at thehealthycompany.com and we may deal with them on the show. It was a real pleasure to be with Nitin Shahan and Ashok Kumar on a recent trip to India and Kerala. Nitin and Ashok have been friends for seven years. We've been on four trips now together, mostly in northern India and Rajasthan, where we've cycled or taken tuk-tuks to communities and delivered them and left them behind after fundraising. This particular trip was in Kerala in southern India and was such an eye-opener for me. I took the opportunity to sit down with Nitin and Ashok because they're such profound people and just really interesting to sit and talk to in the evenings. So I hope you enjoy our discussion here. When I was trying to work out the best place to record this and the quietest area, it almost slapped me in the face saying, look at where you are, listen to where you are. And we went outside and just put the microphone on a table and just chatted. Absolutely wonderful noises and sounds. So I hope you enjoy the podcast with Nitin and Ashok. It's wonderful to be in healthy company here with two very good friends of mine, Ashok Kumar and Nitin Shahan. And Ashok and Nitin I have known for many years with our trips in India, and I thought that it would just be nice to have a chat about their perspective on well-being. And we're sitting in the most amazing uh, setting at the minute. We were trying to find a quiet room to do the recording and then we thought, wow, just let the noises that are around us come into this recording because that's what we want to talk about. But anyway, Nitin, thank you very much. Thank you, Tim. It's been a pleasure for us to be able to do this, put uh, this trip together. We are, ext- I mean... I should say, we are the lucky ones that we have you with us. And, uh, well, we are looking forward. We are looking forward that this kind of trips continue for years. And we are very happy that we were able to shift it to Kerala this year. We've been doing it in Rajasthan for the last eight years. We will go back to Rajasthan again sometime next year onwards. But Kerala remains on the map. And the idea is... It should be a fulfilling experience. It should be an enriching experience. And when you go back, you should have memories that always instantly remind you of some good things that you've done, some beautiful memories, some lovely people, the food, the culture, the tradition, the music, everything. And I should, I mean, I, for both of you, each time I've come away from one of these trips, and if I can tell the, the audience with these trips are... Uh, a charity trip and we usually cycle somewhere or go on a tuk-tuk somewhere and give our cycles away to a community but it's not just uh, it's not just the arrival it's the journey and that is very much what in healthy company is talking exactly. about it's the journey in life as well exactly, and not ignoring what's exactly. Going on. yeah because uh, you see reaching from one place to another everyone can do that but doing it in a manner you you sweat a lot, you work hard and your mind constantly works. In fact, while you are cycling like without gears, you have to think a lot about your safety, the road conditions, as well as what all is happening around. Yeah. Yeah. And adapt yourself to that situation. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we've been cycling with no gears. (laughs) This is, it's not Europe. So (laughs) we drive everywhere. (laughs) Yes, mm. and one of the, one of the, one of the uh, people had a, a little knock off the bike and was on the floor, and uh, yeah. the driver came up and said, "This is Carola, madam." Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. I mean, I mean, I mean, he was polite. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mind you, he yeah. was polite because had it been North India, yeah, the response would have been very different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I've I've really noticed the, the, of the, course, the openness yeah. yes. of people down here. It's been yes. wonderful. Education probably plays a lot more part of it. The weather does to some extent and uh, the upbringing also 
it makes a lot of difference because for an average person on the street he's far more educated in the sense of uh, literacy levels in terms of his background in terms of what their exposure to the uh, international visitors so there is a difference yes yeah I, I I've been struck by the, 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 I understand that the education system here is very good and the medical system is very good and and that it it it, it um, I think from a society point of view it gradually builds builds forward doesn't it That is true but then again there are a lot of things India has changed or it's evolved and it's in a process of constant evolution yeah. so things are I mean what mattered a few years ago or as the most important career growth or career opportunity may not be so today yeah there yeah. are other avenues there are a lot of other options which are available today and people are students and kids are looking at them yeah. for us as a society there are several new options and new areas that opened up what is important is we don't leave anything behind but then carry on with yeah. everything that build we have on, build on build it. on to it society yeah. yeah and at the same time provide something for everyone we we were chatting earlier on about the um the thoughts of uh the wonderful thoughts that we've had as we've been going through and we've mentioned it a minute ago just about the mindfulness that you have to have if you're going through and being thinking of the traffic and i um maybe some of my work colleagues at home I'm sorry I haven't answered any of your emails because I've been too busy thinking and uh, too busy actually being in the moment and maybe once or twice this week I've used wifi and tried to do some office work but then sometimes I found a really interesting perception that I I thought about the email that I was thinking that I should be doing and then I thought well I'm not even going to try and remember which email that was and so that was lovely yeah, that was true. exactly true. yes it happens sometimes to us as well while clients are there they are planning their trips and we need to put it together but what happens sometimes we become a bit lazy maybe but we are enjoying those times yeah yeah so absolutely yeah. And, and and you know they, they, there's a group of vo- people that um support us in our in our trips and you you get those people together and we become one big family there's 31 of us as cyclists and 15 or 20 absolutely. helpers yeah, absolutely and yeah. and we've gone through and we've we've delivered these bikes and it was so wonderful in in the in the community in Hope Kerala yesterday i was moved to tears oh, twice yes. that is i, so, I do i do yeah. i have that's been twice there place. and both the times i had tears and yeah. while talking to you you can still see i yeah. i can actually have absolutely yeah, because it was the work what they have done so far in last maybe 25 years yeah. now they have completed and amazing thing many children who who got married now and yeah. settled into their lives they so have, they have another yeah. wedding coming up in november yeah. oh my goodness i believe yeah. 12th november there is another wedding happening there the hope carol charity was set up by an englishman and and um it was um and it is sorry uh for uh orphans and for uh children of parents who can no longer look after them and they're put into individual houses so it's not a big a uh, dormitory system it's lovely they've got a it's lovely houses. mother it's actually house houses mother with house, house, with mother. house mother. houses with mother yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. and the, the mothers become the house grandmother to some of the people from yes. 24 That's years yeah. ago yes and uh, yes. it's just wonderful to see it but and yes. and very moving yeah but i was also talking about some of the the, the memories and the, the the thoughts as we go along and the the mindfulness as you go along and it's almost the opposite of ptsd it's um it's you know instead of instead of a flashback coming because of a bad memory and a and a smell or something uh, you know bringing you back into that time there are so many wonderful and maybe not so wonderful smells as we go through no, no, yes true. sometimes true. But, yes. but but, but, but the noises and the noises around us at the minute yes. with the birds i hope they come across on the on the on the yes. for the audience because the, it is just beautiful and so often we're cycling and just looking around and people can't believe just how beautiful this place just is. as we speak we are probably surrounded by about 100 butterflies around us yeah yeah just within say 10 meters and around a, us and a woodpecker what yeah. was and, yeah which one was it there was just now there was a uh, mongoose mongoose yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. so but yeah. but it is wonderful but uh, you know 
from your guys' perception of life, and you know, uh, you know, Ashok has just given me a book that I'm going to read, and for a dyslexic, I choose which books I read because it takes me ages to read them. But uh, I'm going to be reading it, and an end to suffering, the Buddha, and the world. And what does um, the mindfulness mean to you? What does mental health, mental well-being, what does that mean to you guys? Well, it is balancing your life with. Uh, as holistically as possible the way you live without disturbing other people's life and adding substance to to others if possible and in my business like I do organize trips and to me the most fulfillness of their dreams their dream holidays that gives me pleasure. Yeah. So I enjoy that and would like to put together things for them the way they want. Yeah. And it gives me pleasure, so I enjoy it. Yeah. I enjoy it a lot. And just life generally compared to, you know, you know the, 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 the British or the Western way of rushing about and uh, getting on with life. But perhaps not even noticing. Even that. that's the same in India as well. Yeah, I mean, I with the new that's generation, true. yeah, we have a similar situation. I mean, like our next generation, they are almost in a hurry. They're working long hours. Yeah, they have extremely high stress levels. They have pressures of work. They have pressures of achieving their targets, and what to do next. And their plans, if you look at, a lot of them would say that we would want to retire at the age of say thirty, and then do something that we like which is a wonderful idea if you do that but once you get it as a career once you get into any kind of a commitment it becomes very difficult yeah. to actually fulfill I think it's, so. it's important to have to spend time yeah. uh, to think about how you should be using your time as absolutely. well yes. I, yes. You know, absolutely. Yes. so you, in the same way as you might go to the gym uh, you know, to, to, to get a body fit yeah. for your mind no, I mean, fit. I guess we, we need to work on that. For personally, on a personal level, I guess we are extremely lazy guys. Yeah. We need to look after our own health. Yeah, we do need to. But I guess we always put it for the next day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it never happens. But, but I think what, uh, what I'm getting at is that, you know, we, we need to pay attention to our mind as well. And yes. even the, yes. the young that, people. Yes. Uh, that, in my opinion, is more important than anything else yeah. because your longevity of your mind will probably decide how long and how interesting your life is going to be yeah if you're under constant stress you cannot even look at the finer things in life some small things that we just miss out yeah like and you recently said that uh, there was an email you had to send it yeah but then you decided not to so the same way, like, your mind required a bit of rest, probably, which forced you or guided you just to enjoy the moment. Mm -hmm. And if you enjoy these moments, I think they are the best moments. Yeah, yeah. So. And, and it, it's just, you know, last night we arrived here with with five minutes to spare before the sun went down and yeah, absolutely. everybody rushed into the just sea. Rushed, and yeah. Even the people that were thinking, oh, what about this? What about that? And everyone just rushed into the yes. sea. It was wonderful. Yeah. The, the change in uh, different generations and their various pressures and stresses that they feel and that it's not so much an East and West thing anymore. It's, it's just that life is becoming like that. Yes, it's the globalization which has put together or, I mean, put us all in one world which is so busy, stressful and at the same time so connected. We all are connected with our devices or most of the times and these devices may be running all over the world at the yeah. moment. No, no, more so, those moments, more so. so with globalization, the world is a small place. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, the world is round so yeah. we are always to the east of something or west of something. Yeah. We are never at the center. But yeah, you know, some people some, think they're the people. center of the world. But That's all right. <laughs> I mean, they have more stress. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They exactly. get more stressed out. But then, yeah, well, with our general, I mean, I believe that it's important to balance your mind, balance your mental health as much as your physical, because that is what will keep you sane, happy, 
and give you a more fulfilling experience called life. Yeah, full life. Full yes. Life. Well, thank you very much, Nitin and Ashok. Um, it's been absolutely wonderful it talking to you. Lovely is. meeting you again. And uh, at, just as we're talking this, there's a red <laughs> ant coming down the microphone <laughs> yes. cable. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to finish yeah. before it finishes. Um, but seriously, you have enriched my life. You have helped me well, and Jackie. And we, we, whenever we knew we were coming back here and saw you there, it was lovely to give us, you a big hug and say hello. To see yeah. your names on the list gives us so much of pleasure. Oh, thank you. We already start marking our dates on our. <laughs> what date are we getting there? Brilliant. Yeah. Thank you so, very much indeed. No, it was. It was pleasure. a pleasure. Thank you so much. Dave. Thanks, thank you. Some really wonderful reflections there. I was struck by the thought of the opposite of post-traumatic stress, i.e., using memories, sounds, smells, and memories of friendships that you form on special holidays and special trips and how those can really bolster your psychological well-being and be a, a fantastic flashback rather than anyway a negative flashback and can lighten up our darker days as we go into winter and uh, the perhaps some more troublesome times in our lives. Thanks again for listening to In Healthy Company. You can find out much more at my website, thehealthycompany.com. If there are any areas of health and wellbeing that you would like us to explore in future podcasts or you have any feedback, then please do email me at wellbeing at thehealthycompany.com. Thanks for listening and see you next time.